on this stranger episode of the NES Pursuit. Whoa! Riff, Ricky, and Gabo head to a local toy store and find more than they could have ever dreamed of. Just that. <laughs> when Gabo has gifts to give, there's only one way to choose the recipient. Eeny, meeny, miny. Riff's collecting gets the better of him and takes over his willpower to stay on budget. I might as well just grabbed all of them at first. I made everything more dramatic. The guys head over to Mort's house for a classic-fueled night of gameplay. No! Then, boxes and boxes are hauled into the game room. And are they all up for grabs? Who will get their hands on the boxed goods? Riff and I are going through going, well, how much for this one, or how much for this one? Gabble's looking at some of them, how much for this one? Grab a Mountain Dew and prepare for collectibles galore, mocking friends, righteous game nights, and a deal beyond all deals. This is the NES Pursuit. The heavens opened up and the sun was shining down on us and we were just, Today we're going to a place that we haven't been to in quite a while. One of my favorite toy collectible stores there is. Dude, he always has the best toys. A lot of my Mario toys that I get are from here. Cape and Cowl in Huntington Beach, California. Oh, 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 oh. Children of the dead! <laughs> I love loose figures, truth be told, and this is one of the stores where I, he has a ton of loose figures, and that's my number one go-to. We're excited to be here. We're good friends with the guy Sterling that works here. We love the store. So today, let's check it out. Cape and Cowl. I got something. I got something, but I don't know to who. This is difficult. So we get to Cape and Cowl, and as we're getting out, getting ready to go in, of course, Gabo the Giver does what he does. And he says, I have something to give you guys. Um, I want to give something, but I know, I don't, I don't know to who. Gabo's like, listen guys, I got something, but I don't know who to give it to. Hi Riff. Me and Riff are looking at each other like, huh? And then he does something kind of different. Uh, but I know how to do it, the best way I can do it, so. He literally tells us to get on our knees and he kind of Negan style picks out who gets what. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. And he's going, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. My mother told me to choose, and you are it. It lands on me. Thought I'm gonna get my head cut off, but instead, I'm I don't red. know what it is, bro. I'm nervous. <laughs> Oh yes, dog! But, but Wait. there's something inside. Wait, there's something inside? Yeah. He gives me a Zelda lunch box. I've been looking at this lunch box. He sent me pictures of this in the past. I am a huge lunch box collector now. It's actually getting kind of out of control. Give me the hand! Oh my gosh, dude, this is awesome! Lately he's collecting boxes. I don't know why, but I don't know. Probably he wants to go to school again. But as I'm looking at it, I hear something inside and I open it, and there's a Fix-It Felix Jr. for the Genesis, the Repro. This is the coolest thing in my opinion. The Repro of Fix-It Felix on the Genesis. Dude, I've never even played this yet. I've been eyeing these for a really long time. I remember when these came out and people were talking about them, and I never got my hands on it. So now, thanks to Gabo the Giver, I finally get to play it. The Gabo! The wait, Gabo! Wait, 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 wait. And then the next thing, he's like, I'm not done. Hold, hold, hold on. I got something for you. Uh, yeah, I got you. something for you. He reaches in, grabs this bobblehead, 
the bubble vet head from SoCal Swap Meet, like the one he just got. I'm like, oh no. I'm like, oh shoot. He knows I've been wanting this. I feel bad taking it, but he gave it to me. And honestly, that was one of the coolest gifts I've ever gotten. Dude, yeah, but thank you, man. <laughs> I love bobbleheads. That thing is awesome. I love bobbleheads, especially Mario GameCube bobblehead. That thing's going up on the shelf. Look at that. He's holding the GameCube. How much cooler does that get? But now it's time to go into Cape and Cowl. Here we go. That's the way Jay's kiss. <laughs> We get in the store and as always, the store feels nice and the store is extra crispy, extra clean. Thank you, Sterling, for taking good care of your store. So I was walking around in this awesome store and I quickly go to the movie parts did I ever tell you that I love Eddie from Iron Maiden? So the first thing that I saw was the Iron Maiden mascot, Eddie, the Peace of Mind version. Peace of Mind is the album number four. And I think Eddie is the best mascot in, a, in every rock and roll band. It's Eddie the Great. Since I love Iron Maiden so much, I need to buy that, so I grab it. You take my life when I take you too. You find a musket, but I'm running through. That's it. Hallowed be thy name. <laughs> yeah! Still looking for one of these, I so a bunch of stuff. I like might pick this up. The True Push Force McMahon X. Do you have that hook I told you to say a while ago? Oh yeah. But I go over and I'm like, Sterling, do you still have that hook figure that I showed you a long time ago? I told him, so I came here a while ago and he had a hook for 10 bucks. And uh, let's go, let's go see. He goes over and he brings me a hook toy. Now, I've been watching Hook recently as an adult with kids. <sighs> Look how clean this box is. That's the Hoffman's greatest role. Oh. Some longer than So, Hook, 1991 movie, uh, Robin Williams, Dustin Hoffman, and recently I watched it after I became a dad, and the movie now makes me cry. There's like such a deeper meaning now, I cried so hard in the movie. <laughs> and I've seen it a million times, but after I was a, a dad and I saw his son like taking on the, with Hook as his new father figure, it like crushed me. So I'm getting this figure, which is actually a 1991 figure, and it is minty fresh. This is Dustin Hoffman Hook. Look at his condition. Clean. It is like, the cardboard is like almost too perfect. So this is, this is a for sure locked in for me. Hook, hook, where's the hook? It was like preserved through time, put in a time machine, like, like, like Mario Lopez and never ate. Oh my God, I'm gonna meet the Jesus. Jesus. So lately, I've been collected Walking Dead Pops, only Walking Dead Pops. Huh, what I like this, just look at my hat. So, somebody traded a Walking Dead zombie, and I love Walking Dead. I was looking at my picture of my game room, where I got all the Pops, my collection, and I didn't have any zombie. Actually, it's gonna be my first Pop zombie in my collection. So, you know, I have to grab it. You're a freak. Okay. <laughs> 20, Let's see. 20, 20 years ago, right? About, yeah, it was what, 90 Oh, my. That is clean, too. It's up on the floor. Told 
told I had like three things I really wanted. That was a Mega Man X. Really nice one. So one thing I saw that kind of, I guess it trumped it because it's a little, I mean, it'll go good on my shelf, is this slag, this old school slag he has. It's the one of the dino bots. So I went with something I really wanted, which was this slag transformer, slag slug. They actually changed the name to slug because, you know, I guess slag means something bad in England, but that's the boy right there. Second in command of the dino bots. I really shouldn't be spending money because truth be told, my wife's about to have our fourth child. I love me some dino bots. Can't go along with the OG one, dino bots. Dude, you cannot. You know what? I'm, I'm happy with what I got. This thing's beautiful for how old it is. Oh, yeah. Just like you. <laughs> it's better with it. <laughs> now I can't remember his name. Oh, shoot. Slag. Slag. <laughs> <laughs> you like threw me off. I was like, talk to this man. <laughs> man. You really suck. I know. <laughs> Coming up, Riff picks up more than he can handle. And later, you will not believe what comes into the hands of these game collectors. Did you see me flinch just now? <laughs> uh, just that. <laughs> I'm walking around the store and I know this store has a lot of different card games and deck games that I'm not really into, but I see underneath one of them a giant card table pad, which is Zelda, A Link Between Two Worlds, and I'm like, Sterling was just, he had this on his table that he uses for the card games, obviously, but I was like, dude, I need a giant mouse pad and these basically work just as well. This would actually make a perfect mouse pad. It's giant. It's one of the ones where you don't have to worry about moving your mouse pad around is, is how it would fit. And uh, he let me buy it from here. A little cheaper right for the, the for a little cheaper for use, you know. It's... And I asked him how much and he says 12 bucks. 12 bucks is nothing because these things normally sell brand new for like 25 bucks. What's it replacing with? Goku and Gohan. Goku and Gohan? It's been retired. Before. It's been retired. So I picked up this beautiful Zelda one that he's going to replace with some Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball pad. But for me, I get to walk away with Zelda, a link between two worlds. <laughs> Cut it out. Who's Riff? I hate you, Aaron. I had like a madman when I hit it. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> 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 My gosh, you're a lot it's stronger than I am. <laughs> So my way out, uh, I pass the part where I see the Iron Maiden Eddie, and I was looking around. I didn't know how I didn't see this. I was looking to the Maiden's dolls. Ooh. And on the bottom of the rack, I see Walking Dead figures. Walking Dead. I don't know if I already told you that I love Walking Dead. Oh my God. Oh my god, look at this. Yeah. So I found Mel Zombie and I found the Governor. And really good price, cheap. Another stuff for my collection. I'm gonna get out of here so broke. <laughs> but it's Walking Dead. Biba Walking Dead. Thank you. Biba Walking Dead. Biba as Walking Dead is pretty cool. So we are here on Cape and Co. And I'm so excited. And so today, Rifo go to the video game to. to <laughs> Baludos. Rim. Oh, Rim. Oh, yay, Rim. All right, one of my biggest loves in the world is Stranger Things. Everything about it is kind of everything I love, and I actually am debating getting a Stranger Things tattoo soon, so to be continued on that. I wanna get, can you bring up these four front Stranger Things guys? I wanna get two, but I don't know who I want. But he has all these figures, all the Stranger Things figures. Now these normally go for sale for like 20 bucks, 25 bucks, brand new. Oh. Uh. I want 
want to get two of these guys, but I don't know who I'm gonna get. Choose them blindly. He has them loose for only $12 each. So I'm like, I'm gonna get one for sure. And they're all looking pretty tempting. The only one I know that I want for sure is gonna be Dustin. I'm gonna go with Dustin. I already got Dustin Hoffman from Hook, so I gotta get Dustin. He's by far one of my favorite characters on the show, on the series. Dustin's my favorite character, or formerly known as Toothless. But then I'm looking at the rest, and I'm like, I don't know if I can walk away from these. And Sterling is like, why don't you do like an eeny, meeny, miny, mo? But I think what Sterling said might have to be the go-to. I might have to close my eyes and eeny, meeny, miny, mo it. My fate is that. So I call Gabo over, he covers my eyes. I can feel his soft hands. Gabriel, come cover my eyes. And I start going, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by the tail, if he hollers, oh, let him go. Catch a tiger by the tail, if he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Okay, I'm gonna guess now. Lucas. I guessed it, I feeled it. I guessed too what it was. It was Lucas, which is perfect because Dustin and Lucas are like a pair on the show. I'm gonna take Lucas, I love Lucas. He's, 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 a, he's a modern day Bart Simpson. He's got the slingshot, he's brave, and he has an attitude, so. And then I look over again and I'm like, Dustin, Hopper and Eleven are just sitting there alone. He's my friend. I love Hopper. So I had to grab Hopper as well. All right, who am I gonna lie? I'm gonna get Hopper too. All right, that's it. Here's my loot for the day. And then, Gabo's like, how, how could you leave Eleven like that? You know, you're missing the main character. Why would you leave her alone? She's like the main person on the show. Poor, poor girl, she, she deserves more love in the show. You need it too. It's gonna haunt you. Yeah. Fine, I'll take Eleven too. So I get Eleven too. I might as well just grabbed all of them at first. I made everything more dramatic. I just bought all of them. Don't even bring the Demogorgon. That one's double the price. I can't do it today. Ricky, what's your problem? Dude, my watch is gone. That's the way the what? And that's it for today at Cape and Cowl. Sterling gives us good deals. We love the guy, longtime friend. And now, later tonight, we're gonna head out to play some video games with our buddy, Mort. His game room is too good. It depresses us all in the happiest way. So let's go do that. So we are here at my buddy Mort's house, one of my favorite game rooms of all time that I've ever been in. So my favorite thing about having a game room is doing game night. And so uh, every once in a while, the stars align and we are able to get everybody to come over and hang out. I hear a bus to move. Hey! <laughs> What's up? Oh! We're hanging out, we're playing video games, doing what gamers really should be doing most of the time. What's up? I'm back. <laughs> kind of. Sort of. Old school represent. It warms my heart because uh, everyone's just goofing around, having a good time, and it's just kind of like that's why you have a game room is so everyone can enjoy it. Glad to be here. Some games tonight. Hang out with the bros. The best thing is that Mort collects a ton of stuff, and we all do, but we all play games as well, and that's really important. Not just to collect, but to kind of be a part of what video games first started as. I think it's awesome that you get to hang out with dudes and, and share a cool hobby. This is what we like to do the most. People say, you know, sometimes collectors don't play games. We play games. This is something, this is the best place to do it now, though. We used to have game nights at Ricky's, and I'm sorry, Ricky, this is like ultimate game room now, so let the fun begin. playing video games, I'm meeting some of Mort's friends, 
And one of them that I just met named Phil walks in with these boxes and he's like, I have some things going on. And I'm like, what? what's happening right now? What, what is this for? Dude, what is this for? I knew you were bringing stuff, but that's a lot of stuff. Is this trade or something? Phil had emailed me in advance and said, hey, I've got some boxes I'm getting rid of, but you know, I don't know exactly what that's gonna mean. I've got an idea. I, I come bearing gifts and trades and okay. sales. And so, no, no. so Phil, Phil emailed me and said, hey, I've got a bunch of boxes from my collection. Yeah. Got it. And so, They're just boxes? Walking through the door is Phil and Josh with two just handfuls of boxes. And I'm just thinking to myself, Oh, this is gonna be good. 99% of this is just a box. Are they for sale? Is he buying them? How's this working? Chris uh, had mentioned he might want to buy something. Okay. And, uh, and all of a sudden he drops these boxes. And... Okay, so this right here, these are my party favorites. Wow. Um, Before we did anything bands, he's like, hey guy, I just met Riff. Here's a toy for you, an amiibo. Huh? Thank you. I don't know if you guys need one, but since you're video I'll be honest, I don't have one. Dude. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Where did this come from? Thank you. Oh you guys, God. check it out. That's amazing. I love it when people are generous. And uh, who, who else cool needs one? I got one more. Did you need one of those? Then we open the second box, and there's a few NES boxes. Right. You know me, I can't sit in front of open. What's next here? Oh. Okay, this was just a few things that didn't fit in the others, but. So these are boxes. Them. These are boxes. And there's Rad Racer 2. Um, eventually Gauntlet 2, Dr. Mario, a bunch of, of games that are like, I would love to have these boxes in my collection. But then he starts opening this plethora of boxes, this world of boxes. It's like just glistening everywhere. Oh, I like this box. I've always loved this box. The red one? Yeah. Yeah. And as I'm opening the boxes, Riff keeps on going like, hey, stop, slow down. Let me see which ones. I want to take these too. All right, I'm looking, bro. All right, all right. I can't, I can't take it. You're, you're playing the kid distraction. I literally can't. There's console boxes, there's Game Boy console boxes, DS console boxes, and then there's Wii console boxes. This this is crazy awesome. I This box is great. I got that for my wife. Another her. box opens. The choirs are seeing all these Game Boy, GameCube. Oh my god! <laughs> oversized games, GameCube oversized games like Odama. Ooh, these are nice boxes, bro. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when this game came out. Oh, Obama, yeah, 2008. <laughs> <laughs> um, and a bunch of other uh, games that I really wanted to have for my collection. As I'm going through it all, it's just all of these awesome boxes. Last box, Mort. Okay, here you go. Let's crack it. Come on down, bro. Crack it. Like Ooh. 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 God. Then we open more, I think the final box, and in all of this, there's. How about this? How about this? How about Get out of here! Yeah. It's like the heavens opened up and the sun was shining down on us and we were just... What do you... I don't want to like ask because I know you're just going to... No, 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 no. Tell me what you want so I don't try to grab them. Game Boy boxes for Game Boy Advance, like games like Fire Emblem, games like I'd never heard, like there's a, a John Kay who made Ren and Stimpy. There's a game that's got all of his work, artwork on it. Oh wow, I didn't realize you had these specific yeah. 64 oh, boxes. Oh, Metroid Fusion right? Box. Yeah. Ocarina yeah. of Time Box. And so I'm just like salivating as I'm looking at all of this stuff going, I really hope that I can make this work out and add it all to the collection or add a lot of it to the collection. Super Nintendo boxes. Oh, yeah. Wow. So Phil throws out the first price, which he says is, look, if I was gonna sell these all on eBay, this is what I'd get for it. And it's far beyond anything that I can afford. I, I care and I share. That's, 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 that's the way of the mort. And then Riff and I are going through going, well, how much for this one? Or how much for this one? Gabo's looking at some of them. How much for this one? But then Mort and Phil start talking a little deeper in detail and they're kind of in their own world talking. I'm like, hey, let me in. And they're elbowing me out of the way. Get out of here. And so I finally just, Phil and I talk it through a little bit more and he gives me the price of $300 for all of the boxes that are there. And all of a sudden, Mort turns around, he's like, guess what I bought? And I'm like, cool, what'd you buy? What'd you save for me? He's like, I bought it all. You bought them all? He's like, yeah, I bought them all. 
But the good news is, Mort was kind enough to give me Blaster Master because it's one of my favorite games of all time. And also a Dick Tracy box. And this is because I recently got a really cool Dick Tracy lunch box and I think it'd look really good next to it. So this turned out amazing. Right after this commercial break, Mort snagged some of the heaviest hitters in retro gaming. So then Josh had been saying, kind of teasing me a little bit over text message of messages like, hey, you know, I've got some Super Nintendo games that are really expensive and hard to find, but they're just sitting in boxes at my house. I don't know, you might want them. So Josh then comes into the party and he says, hey listen, I brought some games with me. Then he pulls out Zombies Ate My Neighbors, Super Mario RPG, Chrono Trigger, all games I've already got in my collection. But then he pulls out two games that I don't have in my collection. Ooh! <laughs> Metal Warriors and Earthbound. These are games we bought from Blockbuster when Blockbuster went out of business. This is coming from Josh. What a generous thing. He gave them to me. What we worked out is that I would help get rid of the other games for him. He would let me keep Metal Warriors and Earthbound as a gift. We rented them. Like, I rented this copy weekend after weekend after weekend because my brother and I loved it. I'm blown away. Tonight's been incredible. I, I mean, we've got game night and then all of these awesome deals, all this awesome stuff coming in. There are some good friendships in this room. It's kind of like a big blessing because a lot of times in the gaming community, people say there's a lot, a lot of toxicity in there, but the gaming community to me has been nothing but one of the best things that's ever happened to us as far as community goes. I don't know what to say other than thanks. This is just incredible. And I'm so grateful that my friends would, would give such great deals and hang out and do all this fun stuff. Everyone here loves gaming and loves each other and treats each other the way we should all be treating each other. There's gift giving, there's wonderful offers being made, there's people just playing games. This is what gaming needs to focus on more is what we have together as friends. So I want to thank all of them and thank every one of you guys for watching. It's done great things for us and we hope it's done great things for people that watch. So thanks for watching. A guy! Oh yeah, a guy! I have fragile emotions. So, we are right here, and we are going to keep it calm. Oh boy, oh boy. We eat many, many more, and that's it. <laughs> I'm recording. Oh, you are? Look at you, you're being serious. Now give me the camera, shut up, or else you won't be in the next episode. <laughs> <laughs> you almost fell. You can scream? <laughs> You can cry, <laughs> and you can run. 